morning cadre. Uh, this will be an interesting shave this morning. Um, KJ Spider on uh, theshavingcadre.com is going to do a monthly challenge for the video loggers. Uh, anybody can participate, but I think the main goal was to get them captured on camera and then posted. Uh, so this week or this month is opposite day. Uh, not using your dominant hand, but using your off hand for everything uh, from whipping up the lather to uh, putting on your aftershave. Uh, which should be kind of crazy. Um, I do use both hands when I use a straight um, for the different sides. I've never tried it for DE. But not just that. A uh, few folks have mentioned that whipping up the lather uh, itself will be rough with the off hand. Um, and it just makes me think of something that we did once, like in a leadership training thing, where you put your hands together like you normally would. And uh, normally I have my left thumb on top and I just do that. I said, switch it over one and put the other hand on top and just how uncomfortable does it, you know, it's talking about change and being uncomfortable with change and it's okay. But that's weird that when you do it just the other way, um, you started life doing it one way for no reason whatsoever and that's what you're comfortable with so um, we'll see how this goes um, try to get going here I'm assuming this video will be a little bit longer than normal because <laughs> I'm anticipating the shape okay so I'm already doing I got my right and so I'll put it in my left hand I was just wetting my brush this is a plus soft knot this knot came out of a loxiton handle um, that broke or something, so I put it in a Shave Revolution handle. So I've got, um, we're going to be using uh, Visions and Revisions by Storybook Soapworks. This is a great black tea scent. So I've got that smeared in my bowl, so I got my <laughs> brush in my left hand, okay. And so it's really hard not to fight the natural tendency to be like, okay, well, this isn't working all that well let's switch hands um, and I can tell that uh, yeah this is <laughs> so give this a shot I mean even even if you're not one to post videos on your own um, I kind of feel like if you gave this to a third grader and say uh, mix up your lather the the hand is not making quite the motions that uh, there we go so this might not be the best lather because I think I'm gonna lose patience after a while so I've got it I've got it kind of smeared around I've got some on the brush normally everything off the side of the bowl here would be on the brush but um, I actually do have to get to work today, so all right. I'll try to add a little right now. Oops, that was too much water. Oh, let's pull, pour a little out. I'm just gonna go with it. But right now, I'm just hoping for a lather in general. So this will be. Uh, this is really odd that you know you think oh sh shaving. Oh my gosh, look at this. We just got soup in there right now. And it's very hard to get kind of that whipping motion uh, that you would do like if you're beating egg whites or something. Uh, I'm getting, we're getting lather right now. It's very airy and fluffy. Uh, I was saying it's, it's really funny that you would think, oh, you know, shaving with a safety razor with uh, your non-dominant hand, you're thinking about, oh, blood and cutting yourself and all this, and the biggest <laughs> concern is actually making the freaking lather. I suppose if I would have known actually how difficult this was and how much time it would take, I would have uh, changed the camera angle so you could watch this. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. Um, and again, I think just out of uh, impatience and pure frustration, I'm just going to go with what we have. And uh, I guess side note, I've had some, 
my wrist has been hurting on my left, well, both wrists. I know the right hand is from computer work. The, right, the left wrist, I don't know. I'm assuming somehow I strained it or tweaked it or something doing uh, manual labor last week, but uh, doing the that action with it and making it pretty sore. Anyway, so we'll get this. I mean, it, it's looking decent. I would like to spend a little more time with it, but whoop, whoop, that almost went in my mouth. At least I found my face with the brush. I mean, we're getting getting it on generally in the the right area here. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I, my wrist being sore is just kind of an issue at the moment. All right. Okay, here. I'm, I won't wipe it with my right hand. Hold on. Got the, the every little thing you just want to reach out with that right hand. All right. So, for the razor, I've got the... Uh, Timeless. I've got a new uh, Wilkinson sword blade in it. And I picked this because, for the most part, um, for uh, no matter what the angle is of the blade, um, it's not too aggressive or too irritating. So, it's just, okay, here we go. There we go. Well, and this was a smart move. I can tell here I'm getting a little better. Original, I was using too much pressure there, um, and and just like when you're new to shaving, it's just to try to keep that blade in contact with your face because you're not used to these motions with this hand. You can't just glide over the skin with muscle memory yet. All right, so yeah, it's a, again, good thing I picked this razor. I can tell has some strokes there that are pretty much perpendicular. This skin pretty aggressive angle there. There we go. But the shave itself should be pretty good. That was alright. Alright, let's see what is putting putting the lather on is more awkward. Oh, if I close my eyes, I'm not. No, it doesn't help. I was wondering if the uh, backwardness of the mirror is making it even worse. But no, these are just you know, try, try to look at them. Got a mess going on there. I'm just trying to roll the brush there. There we go. Smells great though. Love this. Love this soap. I mean, you just gotta be in the just the right mood for it. It's a nice. Uh, I'd say the strength of it is at least three out of five. But because it's just a tea scent, it's not a strong. All right, what am I doing here? Pretty good. Okay, this 
This one is a little weird. It, it's interesting to have to be thinking about what you're doing again. I'm mentally thinking, okay, perpendicular, tilt it to the head a little bit, now do your stroke. Yes, not just... It makes you realize, though, um, it's a very interesting, uh, KJ. It makes you think about back to when you were learning and realizing uh, why it does take a little bit of time, because right now, If I was using the razor I learned with, I'm betting I have a decent amount of razor burn um, just because of pressure. Um, because you can't, you can only think of so many things at one time, and right now I'm just. trying to think of stroke direction and. Uh, angle the razor so from time to time I'm catching myself and easing back on the pressure a little bit but definitely say technique is suffering a bit today so anyway if you're just if you're just learning and you're like uh, I don't get this everybody talks about how great of a shave you can get and I'm getting all this razor burn still and, uh, but you're fairly new uh, we've all been there uh, that was my big struggle uh, at the beginning after I got the BBS shave um, BBS was not right off the bat but then how do I get that Without my neck being red and irritated every time. And I thought, I'm not, I don't have the skin combination, it's just not gonna work. And lo and behold, you make some changes to the software, post shave, pre shave routine, but then also just to. Uh, you do learn it takes you longer than you might think. Well, for some of us. To get the actual technique down. I mean, it seems like a pretty simple thing. You're just running a blade against your skin. I can't see. Let's see. At a certain angle, you just pay attention. <laughs> I twisted, twisted the thing the wrong way. This one's a little more difficult. But given that it is razor sharp uh, and it's delicate skin it's going against, there are several little changes, you know, that are probably tenths of degrees or tiny changes in pressure or stroke direction. And take some time. This one feels crazy weird. The shave is going fine, it's just... Actually telling the arm where to go. Alright, so... Normally I've got my left hand freed. That's pretty good. So as per the use, <clears throat> any remaining hair, if there is any, is down here. No. This went a lot better than I thought it would. Ooh. So, um, it is irritated. Ooh. But that's 
gonna light up with the alum. Yeah, so I think my neck is gonna have some irritation. I'm just, that pressure thing, thinking about too many things all at the same time. And All right, I gave you both hands to rinse. So that's not fine, but it would do it. Let me switch. Once I got my <coughs> brush, I had to change it over to the left hand. I'll show you, there's still quite a bit of soap left uh, around the edges of the bowl. This takes longer and I do not want to keep this alum on my face much longer. It uh, just dries everything out too much. Okay, there we go. Alright, well, we've had worse, we had the whole face lit up before. It's opposite day, so we'll be using lemon thayers. This gets put on with both hands anyway. No change there. All right. Well, I guess the last thing I want to share, if you're still with me, um, <clears throat> not a challenge, um, but just kind of a, I guess it's a challenge. It's an easy challenge. Uh, one thing I posted on the Shaving Cadre, and if you're not uh, part of that, come join us. Uh, but if you just catch me on YouTube, uh, one of the requests I have for shaves are your best shaves. So, two. One, I called it your date shave. So, if you want the best results that you can get, uh, that's your opinion, but a combination of closeness and no irritation. So, you can get super, super close with a, you know, shave that will irritate you. You don't want to go out on your date with a redneck. <laughs> anyway, uh, but you get what I mean. <clears throat> if you want the best results for you, what are you going to use? Which soap, which blade, which razor, which brush? Go ahead and show us. Uh, the second one, I forget the term that I used, but kind of like it's your, your ultimate, what people would think looking at your stuff, what would be your best shave? What's the razor that maybe is your most expensive or the hardest to get or the most opulent looking that kind of thing same with the brush um, <clears throat> even if a cheaper brush gives you a better lather what's the one that people would look at or hear about and go oh that's got to be the best one that you've got show us all that your best brush best blade, uh, blade best uh, razor uh, best soap is it an titanium hard to get uh, has a lot of uh, cachet around it uh, what have you anyway uh, you can just put it in the comments if you don't do uh, vlogs yourself or uh, record one, both, uh, post them up, come join us on the cadre. Um, I've got two last things to do. I'll do one on camera. I'll look, I'm getting low. The Nivea 2 in 1. So, again, this is uh, not much change here. This goes on with both hands. And then. Uh, after everything else is done, I'll finish up with the Visions and Revisions uh, aftershave alcohol free. Uh, no, uh, what's that stuff? Menthol. 
Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the forums.